snake mites suck. minutes can probably tell you this. Today I want to tell you how I got rid of my snake mites in Ivy's Bioactive without having to destroy it. Snake mites in a bioactive can be really challenging to eradicate. A lot of what I found when searching for how to get rid of snake mites in a bioactive was simply start over. But what if I told you you didn't have to? There was a way to get rid of snake mites in your bioactive without having to destroy it. So this is Ivy. She is my Colombian rainbow boa. She just shed, so she's so pretty right now. She is my first snake that I got back in September of 2021. And she unfortunately came to me with snake mites. Now I got her at a reptile expo, so it's not the fault of her breeders or anything like that. She, this is a common thing that happens if you get a snake from a reptile expo, give them a Dawn dish soap bath or some kind of snake mite treatment before putting them in enclosure. It was a complete rookie move on my part. Again, she was my first snake. I didn't know any better. I had a bioactive already set up, ready to go to put her in there. And I just put her right in there along with whatever mites her or I brought home from the reptile expo. Oops. Thing number one, if you can quarantine your snake from the enclosure. This simply means you're going to remove the snake from its bioactive enclosure, put it into a quarantine enclosure, something that's not bioactive. With her, I put her on paper towels. She still had all of her parameters on point and I kept her away from the bioactive for two months. Step two, Dawn dish soap bath or some kind of snake mite treatment. She's pretty small. I shy away from treating an animal with chemicals when at all possible. So she got done dish soap baths to get rid of all of the snake mites that were living on her. I did this prior to putting her into her quarantine enclosure and then one to two weeks after gave her another Dawn dish soap bath. And at that point she seemed snake mite free while in her quarantine enclosure. Step three, Preventamite. I sprayed Preventamite on the outside of all of my snake enclosures, both the ones that had snakes in them and the bioactive that did not have a snake in it. I didn't spray Preventamite on the inside of the enclosure. You tend to not want to use Preventamite on the inside of a bioactive. It gets a little too humid. There's too much natural moisture that happens, especially in a rainbow bow is bioactive. It's just the humidity is so high. I didn't want to take that chance. And also I wanted to save the isopods if at all possible. So preventamite on the outside of the enclosure. Bioactive, quarantine enclosure, any other snakes that are living in your home, whether they're in the room that the snake mite infested enclosure is in or not. Step four, predatory mites. Predatory mites are great because you can put them inside of the enclosure and they will eat the snake mites. That is their job. They eat snake mites for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and they eat every phase of the snake mites. They will eat the eggs, adolescents, adults. They don't care. Finding predatory mites can be a little challenging they're really prevalent in the UK. So if you're not in the US, I'm located in the USA. 
it can be a little challenging to find them. Know what you're looking for. Look for the scientific name, scientific name for predatory mites. The kind of mite that will eat snake mites is, hold on, I'm going to attempt to pronounce it. I'm going to say it wrong. Stradiolapis semitis. I'm going to spell it up here so you can make sure you are actually searching for it correctly if you are indeed looking for these predatory mites. I got mine from a company called Nature's Good Guys. They're a little expensive. I probably spent between $75 and $100, including shipping, to treat that enclosure with predatory mites. However, that's way cheaper than totally rebuilding that whole thing. It would have cost over a grand for me to rebuild that whole thing. The way that I use the predatory mites is I treated that enclosure after I had ivy out and quarantined. I put predatory mites inside the enclosure, waited two weeks, that's about their life cycle, and then put another round of predatory mites in that enclosure. That was it. After that, I let things sit and wait for another about four weeks, so eight weeks total. I ordered more springtails to restock the springtails in the bioactive. That's the one thing the predatory mites will also eat is springtails. So I restocked the springtails and then I put her back in. But yeah, she's been snake mite free. She hasn't been soaking in her water bowl, which is one of her behavioral changes when she does have mites. It worked. It worked and I didn't have to replace the whole dang bioactive. Something that I highly recommend everyone do, regardless if you keep bioactive or any other way, if you are battling mites, look up the life cycle and behavior of snake mites. There's an article that I find that, that I found that has amazing, very detailed information about this. I'll link it below. And it saved my bioactive. If you have a bioactive enclosure and you see snake mites pop up, don't panic. There is a way to treat them and get rid of them completely without having to redo your bioactive. Bioactives take a lot of work, a lot of love goes into them, and it's heartbreaking when you have to completely tear it down and redo it for whatever reason. If it's snake mite related, I really hope that this helps you treat those snake mites. I also really hope you just never have to deal with this because it is a pain. Even if you do save your bioactive, it's still a pain to have to deal with and it's not fun for you or your snake or your plants and animals that are in your care. So I hope you never have to, but if you do, hopefully this is helpful. If you found this helpful, please comment below. I would love to know if I was able to help you out at all. Like, comment, subscribe. I always appreciate that. And as always, don't forget to live life with brave curiosity. Catch you next time. Bye.